afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Memorial United Methodist Church in Thomasville, North Carolina. Today is Wednesday, November the 3rd, 2021, and we are so glad that you joined us this afternoon for just a couple of interesting things that we found interesting and yeah. uh, and uh, we got we got a couple announcements that we would like to make uh, about the church things that are going on in the church today and um, we found out right off the bat that today is give someone a dollar day who I, created that I don't know I, that's kind of interesting and I think it, the idea is if you see somebody you think might need a dollar you, you, you give them a dollar and so um, or maybe if you owe somebody a dollar, you can give them yeah. a dollar back. Or I guess whatever. if somebody asks you for money or something, give them a dollar. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. So, um, yeah, it's a dollar's not that. It's getting less and less valuable at the, yeah. uh, as we go. But uh, yeah, it's, it's not. It's not that big of a thing. And so today, give somebody a dollar. Celebrate. Just give them a dollar. Yeah, tell them. Tell them God loves them. So um, and then so I I am not a bandwagon. I, 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 I'm excited, but um, I found out that yesterday um, the Atlanta Braves yeah. won the World Series, and I'm I'm excited for them. I, I, I when I was a kid, I was a I was a fan. I've kind of lost I've kind of lost right. track of them until this season, and uh, I knew that they were winning. My son kind of jumped on that bandwagon. Grayson jumped on it, and so. Um, but I, I was doing a little bit of research. This is their fourth World Series, yep. and uh, I think it's the only team that won a World Series in three different cities. I didn't even know Atlanta, that this was the third place that uh, yeah. uh, the Braves had been. That's right. So they, were the, they won the World Series as the Boston Braves. They won the World Series as the Milwaukee Braves. Right. And now twice in That's Atlanta. Right. That's right. Yeah. They so. said that last night. And it oh. Was a, it was, I mean, during the game. I didn't, I, I didn't watch the But it was game. a long time ago, I mean, when they were the Boston Braves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it yeah. ain't like they've been a powerhouse. Right, right. And, um, yeah. One of the guys was saying, you know, they were expected to win it back in the last time they won it. Mm -hmm. But 90, this time, it was all over the place. Yeah. They had lost people. They had obstacles come yeah. up. And so. And he had some know, dude wearing grandma pearls around his <laughs> Baseball, baseball people, yeah. uh, players, and their rituals and everything are just funny. And so, he uh, uh, he got this jeweler, jeweler, you know, and yeah. other people were calling to get them. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, they yeah, were yeah. to wear them just like him. He, I think he he had jewels, but he's also got his hair shaved on the side. And it's oh, yeah. real curly on top. Uh -huh. and it's bleached I saw, twice. I thought that was happening. Um, yeah, I think he's a European descent. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, I thought he, everybody's he, gonna be he, wanting to wear them now. They so, want uh, it. I yeah, mean, and, yeah. uh, good for them. I mean, you know, by virtue of our birth location, you kind of... <laughs> that's the, that's the team, man. It's like when you're born into a Jewish family, you're Jewish. And when you're born around here, that's the closest you're major Atlanta league Braves. baseball team. You yeah, know? yeah. So, um, anyway, uh, congratulations to the Atlanta Braves for winning the World Series. And then, like, so yesterday was also uh, Election Day. That's so, right. So, um, a lot of the history that we were running into were like historical facts about election day because of a, right. lot, a lot of things that were so going on. So this day in history. Yeah. A lot of people, a lot of presidents were put into position. They were elected. So, yeah. So like John Adams, the second um, president of the United States was elected on this, right. on this date. And then like, um, I thought this was interesting. Like Ulysses S. Grant was, was uh, president put elected, into, elected today. Uh, William McKinney was elected today, and Franklin Delano Roosevelt was elected today, and they were all—they are all on our money. Like, uh, so we know that Ulysses S. Grant. Some people might know that he's on the fifty-dollar bill. Give me a grant. Yeah, 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 exactly. And then, like, um, I—I I knew this, but I didn't know this. I, I didn't know who was on the dime. <laughs> But apparently Franklin Delano Roosevelt is on the dime. Like I, I FDR. FDR. And then William McKinney, who McKinley. Uh, McKinley was um is on the five hundred dollar bill. Now, I've I, never seen that. Couldn't I don't prove it by yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had one in my hand. But apparently William McKinney's on the five hundred dollar bill. Well, so, there's a such a thing. I, I don't know if it's still in in circulation. Circulation, but it, there that is true. So um all those guys were elected on this date. And then uh, William Taft, uh, William H. Taft was elected today too, and uh, I understand he's he's a big guy. Oh yeah, he carried a lot of weight as president. Um, I mean, I mean, he sounded like a, you know, a small offensive lineman, uh, six feet, two hundred and forty-three pounds. Yeah. 
Yeah. Ain't, you know, that's not that. that that's nothing for a football player nowadays. That's not but, that big. But, but back in the day, I guess, for president. So today in history, a lot of people were elected president, but uh-huh. it wasn't just president. No, it wasn't. There's another election out there that made history. Go ahead. You got it. No, you tell it. In 1998. Jesse the Body Ventura. <laughs> a professional wrestler. Professional wrestler, yeah. I used to grow up watching him in the ring and all this stuff. And he um, he won the, the governor's race in Minnesota. He, he, won, he won the governor's, he was lived, lived in the governor's mansion in Minnesota. So um, I understand that um, apparently there was a lot of disillusioned people there. His opponents spent like four and a half million dollars on their campaigns. He spent... Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars on his That's campaign. That's notoriety, right? There. Yeah, I mean, just he, yeah, he he just brought the the, the fame, and so uh, he ended up being the the, uh, the governor of of Minnesota. For one so, term, yeah, yeah, I think it, yeah, I think it was yeah. one term, and uh, so anyway, That's I thought crazy. that was that is there have been a lot of people. I think Ronald Reagan was an actor. There's a bit a lot of right. people, but a professional wrestler. <laughs> So, That's a stretch. Um, right yeah, so anyway. We, Jesse uh, the Body. Bo- Jesse the Body Ventura. <laughs> so um, anyway, some other things that happened on this date. Um, Adidas, in 1900, Adidas, the brand. Sportswear, yeah, tennis shoes. Um, was, was 1900. That's like 120 years ago. Um, was uh, founded on this date um, by a man named Adolf Dassler. And uh, I mean, like, I we just... We just bought a bunch of Adidas stuff for Grayson just just this weekend. So yeah, it goes um, in and out. I mean, yeah. like Adidas running suits have always yeah. been, you know, <laughs> been the thing. And Adidas yeah. tennis shoes. I guess everybody's gone through at least one pair of them. At oh some yeah. Point. Oh yeah. Adidas. I mean, has always been around. But they're around and they're yeah. solid. You know. Yeah. Um, well made. So yeah. So anyway, go out and get some Adidas today. Um, and then in 1906, the SOS distress signal was adopted. Well, I don't even know what SOS. Do you know what that stands for? I don't know. SOS. Would you say save our ship or something? Maybe so. Yeah. Okay. All right. That makes that's sense. What it is. I, but, you can do it in Morse code. It is the universal signal. Yeah. Everybody knows it. Three right blasts on a horn. Three blows on a whistle. Three yeah. shots. Uh-huh. I mean. Um, SOS. So anyway. That, so you know, it started today. SOS. So you know that SOS thing. Yeah. Everybody knows it. Like there was these two guys hunting, and a guy got hurt hunting, and he told his buddy, he "said Look, you got to get us some help. We're way out here." And said, "Go signal. You know, do the SOS thing." So his buddy went away, and he came back, and and nothing. They had no response, and the guy said, "Well, did you did you signal SOS?" He said, "I did, but I ran out of arrows." So I don't think. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's funny, right there. Oh my gosh! It's deer hunting season too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it is. Get is there? Is there? We're here. Um, anyway, moving on. Um, 1952, Clarence Birdseye um, opened up the market for um, for frozen vegetables with his with his with that with company's frozen peas. Bird's eye. Bird's peas. eye peas. Yeah, now, still we got, around. now we got frozen veggies everywhere. You get everything. So, yeah. Yeah. You had a you had an interesting take on frozen peas. Frozen peas. Yeah, a lot of people use those frozen peas. Yeah. They like them. After Angel. surgeries and stuff, yeah, yeah. You just never know when you might need uh-uh. them and stuff. <laughs> so anyway, uh frozen peas. Today's the day that frozen veggies started have got their start. And then finally, 1969, um, PBS, Public Television, uh, began in the United States. So uh, NPR, PBS, all those things yeah. uh, just be- began. And so, Viewer uh, funded or whatever? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, and, um, uh, you know, yeah. I think PBS is is does good stuff. I mean, yeah. they have very inter- – and it seems to be more prevalent now than it was ever before for some reason. I remember watching, like, Sesame Street. Yeah, I mean – Electric Company on those. But, uh, yeah, now it's, there's a lot. I mean, they do a good you know, job. They do a lot of stuff on there. So, anyway, today in history, PBS began. And then – this is my favorite. This is my favorite one. It's, it's a birthday. So, I don't know if anybody's ever heard of John Montague. Did I say that right? Montague. Yeah, Montague. No. He was the Earl – the fourth Earl of Sandwich. Earl of Sandwich. And and he was Earl Sandwich in and in, uh, he was born on this date in 1718. But he is he is uh, credited with inventing the sandwich in 1782. Now the story goes. 
that he was on this 24-hour like gambling spree. He, he was spending all this money, he was gambling, he didn't want to stop. And so he told the people, I want, I want you to put some meat and cheese in between two pieces of bread. That way he could eat with one hand, <laughs> not get his hand all messy, and then continue to gamble with the other. And a, a legend was born. <laughs> sandwich. So anyway, um, yeah, so now we have sandwiches. I mean, that's just part of our culture you don't now. You think about it. I no. Mean, I mean, hamburgers are, are sandwiches. All, everything with this in between anything. two sandwiches are sandwiches. That's two what some people eat every day for yeah. all their meals. I yeah. mean, you can get breakfast sandwiches, lunch sandwiches, and dinner sandwiches. Yeah. What's your favorite sandwich? I know what mine is. I love the peanut butter and jelly. I will go with a peanut butter and jelly Listen, every You time. don't get my size by being peculiar. <laughs> I like peanut butter and jelly. I like peanut butter and banana. But yeah, you'll see the theme good. is peanut butter for me. I can eat peanut butter on oh, anything. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like sandwiches. Not all the time, though. Yeah, you, you, know? yeah, you got you to got, got space yeah, them out a little can, bit. You can fry pimento cheese <laughs> sandwiches. I mean, I can go on for days. Yeah. I'm going to ask you guys, people that are watching us, Put in the comments what is your favorite sandwich? What 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 do you what's your go to? What do you what do you like to eat? I, uh, what do you like to eat and um, for your favorite sandwich? Who so, ate fried peanut butter and banana man, sandwiches? I know exactly who this is Elvis Presley. The king. Yes. Yeah. That's he is. Yeah. He is famous for that. So uh, yeah, I, I've never had one of those I've particular never had ones. Fried but banana peanut butter. Maybe that's what we need to do. Maybe we need maybe. to check that out. And maybe we'll he's got something going thank on. You very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> So anyway, from sandwiches to um, finger food, finger food. There you go. <laughs> so um, we do have some things going on here at our church, and one of the things that we want to really uh, let you know about, uh, really important, is uh, the, the there's this place called Lindbrook Estate over in Trinity, and uh, they are apparently just a beautiful, beautiful um, estate, like all, all kinds of stuff, and they're going to be decorating for Christmas this year. Um, our Empty Bowls Committee has, has uh, arranged with them a chance to go and see their decorations, get a tour of Lindbrook Estate. They're calling it Enchanted Christmas. Um, and we get to go and like have a tour of this place. And so they are selling, um, our, our uh, committee is selling tickets for $20 a piece. And uh, you get a chance to go in and see everything. It's going to be on Sunday, December the 5th. From one to five p.m. and so um, they got like a tractor museum. Yeah, I mean, they, they got all kinds like of stuff. Incredible, over there. and they yeah. they're allowing us to do this as a fundraiser. Yeah, yeah, and apparently it's it's like a mini Biltmore House, so you don't yeah. have to go all the way to Asheville That's to right. see this. So um, and it's it a lot cheaper. Good, so. <laughs> a good outing, and I I yeah. think that transportation is going to be provided from the church. I think you can park here and then drive out there in the van. That's so, right. Yeah, yeah. So you don't even have to drive out there. Yeah. So, so yeah, and all the church. money goes to um, cooperative uh, empty bowls. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Cooperative Community Ministries and Project Divine Interruption will kind of um, yeah. get, get the funds for that, and so you know, it's all free and clear for them. You so, know. Um, Everything we do here that involves money goes out of this place. Yeah, it's a great thing. I mean, it though. goes yeah. back into yeah. the community, yeah. um, and even um, even the pumpkin sales. You know, mm -hmm. it's it goes into the community, yeah. and uh, yeah. um, we're grateful for that. Yeah, and so anyway, just uh, put down your, tickets are on sale now. You can get those through the church office. I'll put the I'll put the number or uh, an email address um, for you guys to get in contact with people to be able to get those tickets when you're ready, and then. Um, Advent's coming. We've got we got we we got a number of things that are, that we're going to be pushing in the next couple of weeks. But um, just make sure you get those. Advent starts on the twenty um, eighth of November. Well, that's Advent first Sunday in Advent. So make sure you're here for that. And we're and, talking um, about Christmas Eve communion and yeah, yeah. love feast. Love feast is coming that. back. So yeah. So but this Sunday, this coming Sunday is All Saints Sunday. Oh yeah, that's and, right. Uh, yeah, it yeah, is yeah. where we celebrate and remember and read the names of all of those who are part of this congregation that have died since last All Saints Day. Yeah. It's always a special time. You know, we're yeah, grateful yeah. for, and we remember, that. and we celebrate people's lives who were among us. Yeah. The, the communion of saints. That's right. That's right. So, so be here. It's, it's going to be a special service, and uh, we um, at eight fifty and eleven. We look forward to work at worshiping with you. And if you're here in person, you can stand up when those names are read for a loved one that you yeah. that you're um, that you're kind of connected with. So, anyway, uh, please be here for that. 
I hope you guys are doing well. We look forward to seeing you soon. And thank you for joining us this morning. You have a great day. We'll see you.